if you have seen my prediction video, then you'll know that I predicted the Netherlands to reach the semi-finals. This probably came to a surprise to many people as they face quite likely a very difficult road to the semi-final. But I wouldn't be surprised if they made it that far. I would even call the Netherlands the biggest dark horse to win the World Cup. The last Euros were a big disaster for the Netherlands. There were some high expectations, but I was never confident. They had a decent team, but with Frank de Boer, they had one of the worst managers ever. And considering their performance in the Euros, I don't think a lot of people from outside of the Netherlands will be looking at the Netherlands as a real favorite or real contender to win the World Cup. But the Netherlands is now being coached by none other than Louis van Gaal. He's been their coach since August 2021 and since van Gaal has come in, the Netherlands have not lost a single match. From the 15 matches they played, they won 12 and they drew three times. The matches they won included wins against Belgium, Denmark and Poland, and they drew against Germany as well. The unbeaten run of 15 matches will give a lot of confidence to this side. Van Gaal was also the coach of the Netherlands in the World Cup of 2014, when the Netherlands arguably overperformed with a way worse squad than they have now. Now, a lot can be said about Van Gaal. He's one of the most famous coaches, but something that he is always great at is giving a team belief that they can win anything. At this moment in time, the Dutch national team also seems very united. There seems to be a great atmosphere amongst the players and there are some real connections in there. Van Gaal, sadly, is also ill. He's been battling with cancer and I hope that he recovers very well. This is also gonna be his last World Cup as after the World Cup, Ronald Koeman again will be the coach of the Netherlands. But Van Gaal's fight against this terrible illness can also have a very motivational effect on this team and on Van Gaal. Now, you know, this is their chance to make history for Van Gaal, to make history for themselves. Anything's possible. Now, if we analyze the starting 11 as well, there's probably only one weak spot in the side, and that is the goalkeeping position. But besides that, the team is overloaded with exciting young talents and some great leaders who are playing for some of the biggest clubs in Europe. Defensively, now they are very solid and they have a lot of options with the likes of Van Dijk, De Vrij, De Licht, Timber, Ake. As a right wing back, they also have Denzel Dumfries, who is performing very well for Inter Milan and is a constant threat going forward in, in regards to scoring goals, but also is defensively very solid. They've got a very technically gifted midfield as well, with the likes of Frankie de Jong and Stefan Berghuis. And with the likes of Koop Miners and De Roon in defensive midfield, they've also got two very decent players in the games that they are needed. The attack also forms a very exciting collective. Their biggest star is arguably Memphis, who only needs eight more goals in order to become the all-time top scorer for the Netherlands. But it's at this moment in time unsure whether he will be fit enough to start the first game. However, they've also got some very exciting young talents in their squad, and probably the most exciting one is Cody Gakpo. The star player of PSV has 14 goals and 17 assists in 23 matches this season. Biggest clubs in Euros are all keeping an eye on Gakpo, and he could make a real impression at this World Cup to get a transfer in possibly January at or at the end of the season. Another big talent who has made the squad but has not made his full debut yet for the Netherlands is Xavi Simons. The young star is also making a big mark at PSV this season. He dominated recently in their Europa League match against Arsenal and he's got 14 goal contributions in 21 matches this season. He can be a real bright spark for the Netherlands this tournament and he is someone who is technically very gifted and has the potential to win the Ballon d'Or in the future. No cap. Overall, the Netherlands has a very exciting squad. They've been unbeaten under Louis van Gaal and they are a real joy to watch. Reaching the semi-final would already be fantastic for this team. But who knows, they might even get as far as winning the whole thing. Never underestimate a team that is a collective, is in good form and has been unbeaten.